everybody, welcome to my kitchen and another episode of Just What the Doctor Ordered. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make um, an amazing kale salad. And it has a lot of um, like Asian flavors. It's gonna have almond butter in it, some ginger, some garlic, some pepper flakes. And this has become my new favorite recipe because I always love to cook with kale because it's, um, you know, ranks the highest as far as nutrient density. It's an amazing superfood. But I always like made it, I like sauteed it, but this is a great way to eat it raw and, it, and it's amazing. And so um, I'm gonna kind of show you the first thing to make, which is the dressing for it. And so you can start off with anything, like if you have a heavy duty blender or a Cuisinart, but in that you're gonna put one cup of water, or you can also use a cup of coconut water, but I don't have coconut water, so you can also just use one cup of water. And then we're gonna do a cup of raw almond butter. Let me get that in here. That's a key thing to make sure it's not roasted. You really do want to try to make sure it's raw almond butter. So a cup of the almond butter, also going in the blender. Good. And then you're also going to put in about four dates. And if the dates are hard, um, you can also you can like soak them in water so they soften up. You can also exclude the dates if you're going hardcore advanced plan and you're not doing any sugar. It doesn't really need the dates, but um, you know that doesn't hurt anything. It's a it's a healthy form of sugar. And then we're gonna add to that um, the juice of three limes and then the zest of one lime. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lime zest for the one in here. I try to get organic limes, especially if you're gonna be using the zest because um, you know if you weren't zesting them, I mean, you'd probably be okay to not go organic, but that way any spray that's on the outside doesn't get into your food with that. And I made this recipe, I actually took it to um, my family's Easter a few weeks ago and um, everybody loved it. And even people that weren't used to eating kale um, actually really like this recipe, so. Good, got our zest. And then we're just gonna go ahead and squeeze in the rest of the limes. This has so many healthy ingredients um, from the almond butter that has the, it's a great source of good protein, good healthy fats, to the raw kale, um, to the limes, which also are a great source of vitamin C. and has good detoxifying agents in it too. This is like an amazing recipe and it tastes good. Good, we'll put our last lime in. So that's three limes we've put in so far. One cup of almond butter, one cup of milk, one cup of water, and then about four dates is uh, what we have in our mix so far. Good. Perfect. Now the next few things are going to be where a lot of our flavor is going to be coming from. Two cloves of garlic and one, um, think of about the size like your thumb, at least that big or more of fresh ginger. And I just peeled the outside of the ginger root and um, so you just have the inside of that ginger root. And then you're gonna put about a pinch or around a teaspoon of red pepper flakes in there. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more in, depending on how spicy you like it, but it can use some good spice in there. And then um, we're gonna use tamari sauce, organic tamari sauce, it's like a gluten-free soy sauce and um, about two tablespoons of the tamari. Good. And I think, yeah, that's it. And then what you do is you actually just turn this on high and you're gonna blend it for a second. You gotta 
blend it up because especially with those dates in there and the ginger, you want to make sure it gets nice and smooth. And that's what you're going to be putting over your kale salad. Um, and, the, and the thing, this makes enough for two big heads of kale. And um, kale is actually super cheap too at the grocery store. So um, what you want to do is just take out the big stem out of it. And then you're just going to tear it into bite-sized pieces. So yeah, this is two big um, bundles of kale that are gonna go in here. And this keeps really well in the refrigerator. Um, it will keep for probably up to three or four days. And actually the longer it sits in the fridge and it gets a chance to marinate, um, the better it actually tastes and it kind of softens up the kale too. And I think this is the easiest way just to kind of tear it off and rip it rather than trying to cut it. Like I said, just kind of get it into bite-sized pieces here. Good. So once you got your bowl of kale, then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and top it with our mixture, and this smells so good. And so you just kind of drizzle it over. And then we're gonna stir this really good. What I typically do is I will get in there with my hands and uh, just kind of massage the um, kale and that mixture all together. But today I'm gonna try to do, um, do it with these things. So. so you just kind of mix it all together in there. Make sure every piece of kale gets coated. And this is a good side dish. So like you could use it um, if you wanna, you know, have a piece of chicken, this could be your side, or it could be the main course. You know, you could just eat this. Um, or you could just top it with some chicken. And it could be, you know, stand alone as being a salad on its own with that too. Good. So that's all mixed together. And then what I did earlier was I took my Vitamix and um, I just put um, some almonds in there and just kind of ground them up. And so you're just going to top your kale mixture. This just kind of gives it a little bit of crunch with some of the crunched up almonds. Good. And also another really good tip is um, if you guys do try to cook with a lot of almond, um, like almond flour, you can make your own almond flour in a Cuisinart or a blender. I just put in almonds. You just grind them up into a powder and that can be your own almond flour. Um, it's super easy to make too. And so this is our um, Asian kale salad. It looks amazing. It tastes amazing. Uh, your family will love it. And it's probably the best way to get in good raw kale into your diet. I hope you try it. I hope you enjoy it. And remember tomorrow night, um, April 30th is our recipe night. Please come and join us. We'd love to have you there at our office. And um, you can, you know, call in RSVP at 937-645-0156 or you can find more amazing recipes at MaximizedLivingDrBenson.com.